Hello everybody, and Jerry. Here I've got a steel slug, it's a bit over an inch in diameter. It's nestled in some sand, because I don't have a proper crucible to hold it. And the sand is held in a glass jar, because I don't really have anything good to hold that either. It smells like hot. The moisture in the sand is crackling away. The smoke is because it was an oily chunk of steel. There's a narrow spot over here where it's just crossing the Curie temperature. It's really hot because it's kind of a gouge in there. So the current concentrates in that area. Oh no, the sand is giving way. I couldn't see that from where I was. <laughs> I think the queue is high enough that the current limit's starting to buzz, so I'm trying to phase it instead. It's about orange hot right now. I think I can put the sunglasses on now. That looks much better. This thing's starting to get bright. I'm going to need those glasses myself before it gets much longer. What you can't see right now is the sand kind of shifted around it and it came up over the top of the slug so it blocks the light. Now you can see it kind of coming back a little bit. It's kind of mushy on top. I don't know that I've quite melted it all the way through yet, but suffice it to say it's pretty damn hot. Looks like it's melting. Oh, I see. It's steaming going through the tube, so I don't have quite enough cooling power to do this. Or rather, I've just ran out of the amount of cooling that I have. But, uh, looks like it works anyway. You can't see very well what it looks like on the top, because it's just so crusty over, but it's pretty hot somewhere deep inside. Let me give it a poke. Looks like it got crusty on top, probably just iron oxide. Um, it still looks like it's a solid chunk, so I don't think I actually melted it. I got close though. I removed the chunk from the sand. You can see it's it still looks st still looks like a cylinder on top. It's got a bunch of stuff stuck to it. Let's see what that does. Taking its sweet time. After some more cooling, these clay-like chunks that were stuck to it fell off and they kind of look dark, which is because the iron oxide melted into the sand. I think the iron oxide actually melted, which is about 200 degrees Fahrenheit below the actual melting point of steel. So I got close, but not quite close enough. In a few more minutes it would have started melting, I just need more cooling on the coil.